Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have an unplanned Ulta and ColourPop kind of haul. I am really, really enjoying Ulta. Um, I'm not like, I think I'm bad about like, I don't keep up with the emails. Hello? Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have an unexpected Ulta haul and ColourPop. So I am liking Ulta more and more. Um, I don't pay attention to sales, flyers, and maybe I should. I just happened to randomly go on my Ulta app and they were having like 30% off serums. I am a serum junkie. They were having quite a few sales. So I unexpectedly picked up uh, uh, things and then ColourPop gets me every now and then. <clears throat> um, they had a new product I wanted to try. I have it on today. Jury is still out. I wanted to try their liquid light glow drops. And I, the person I had watched with these was comparing them to my favorite product, the Lumi Glotion. I don't think they are dupes. And that's kind of how the person sold it. You get quadruple million dollars more than this. Um, they are a similar price at $10. This is 0.4 ounces and this is 1.35 ounces. So almost a full ounce more. This is kind of exactly like it says, a glotion. You like put it on. When I put this on, I thought, whoops a daisy. This is like a true liquid highlight, which I'm not quite sure I've ever used. So it is a dropper style. They only have three shades, and I do think it's like one's a pinky blushy one, and then one's like a bronzy drop. <clears throat> I was thinking this would be nice to put in a couple drops of my foundation, so I will try it again. When I put this on, I will say it's definitely very lightening. This is pigmented, um, and I, to me, it seems more like a liquid highlight, whereas this gives you a nice glow without adding a bunch of color. This really lightens my face, I feel like, um, almost to the point where I should use the shade up, I feel like. So the jury's out on this. It is very small. And like I said, it doesn't, it, it's, it takes a while to blend. Like you put it on and it was, I don't know. It almost seemed like an eyeshadow. It was very pigmented. <coughs> um, so I don't know. We will see the jury's still out, but I wanted to try it. They don't seem to have much color pop at my target. Um, I didn't actually check Ulta when I went in, but I'd already ordered it. Um, they're sadly, I think, discontinuing my rose oil face thing. So, Fourth Ray, I didn't check Fourth Ray's website. So, Fourth Ray is all, um, ColourPop's sister company. Um, and they had this guy on, and I love their serums. They have a rose milk that I love, but they don't, it's just, it's at least on, um, ColourPop's website, it's discontinued. I don't know. Um, so they do have nice glass packaging. Most of their little serums here are, I think, around like $14. This has some really good ingredients. Um, let's see here. Jojoba seed oil, squalane, um, oat, which is very calming, helps redness. Um, sodium hyaluronate. Um, anyway, I was just kind of excited. So that was their three main ones, the oat, the jojoba, and the squalene. So I'm always excited to have a new serum. And then this is how they get you. You have to spend a minimum to get free shipping. And the only way I like to do eyeshadows anymore is a shadow stick. I mean, let's say, be honest, I was never a eyeshadow person to begin with. But I have their one of their shadow sticks in Honey BB? Baby? I don't know. Um... And so I got a different color thinking that, you know, I would, I don't know, broaden my horizons here. This is social light. I will say it, it looks different. I, I mean, clearly the packaging, the coloring it looks different, but I will say it seems to go on similar looking. Sorry, I have like some sort of like low level cold or something. And I also use inhaler. So I'm hoping I can get through this without coughing. So I don't know whether you can see them or not. They are different shades. <coughs> um, 
So anyway, happy to have those as far as different shades go. Um, I love shadow sticks. I feel like if you're not good at makeup, they are for you. All right, Ulta. Their sale got me. I did an order and then I went into the store. Um, this is my new favorite dry shampoo and it was on sale. This is normally $16. It was on sale for $11. So that was a no brainer. I wasn't going to replace it so soon just because... I have other dry shampoos I need to get through. But I want two things with a dry shampoo. I want it to take away the oil, but I also want it to zhuzh up the hair. Um, if all you want is oil absorption, Batiste is a thousand times the best front runner for oil absorption. But for my hair, it kind of dries it out and there's no zhuzhing at all. Me, um, this does um, a good a, a good enough job at both. It's not as great as Batiste for oil absorption, but it does take away the oil. My hair looks better, and it kind of zhuzhes it up. My hair looks better than it did before. Um, so I love this Andrew Fitzsimmon Dry Shampoo. Um, it's only $4 more than Batiste. Now, this bottle looks smaller than Batiste, but it's just tiny, a tiny amount smaller. Batiste does some optical illusions making their bottle look bigger than everybody's when they have the same amount give or take uh to get free shipping i needed like a dollar more so i got a this little cute bath bomb i don't know it was like a dollar um i will say if you were gift giving this got a little smashed in the mail like it's broken in half they did bubble wrap it this was bubble wrapped twice i personally don't care it's gonna fizz out in the bathtub anyway so for me totally fine i don't care um, and then I don't know, these, these are some random things that I just got because I kept looking at their website. <clears throat> I'm getting obsessed with makeup brushes. <clears throat> so this is Real Techniques, which I have never heard of that brand. And I think they're regularly like 12 bucks. This was on sale for eight bucks. I absolutely love the very dense kind of brushes. I feel like they give you an air fre air freshed, air brush finish. They really just blend out. I loved going into the store for this because I can tell almost right away when I feel it, whether I want it or not, because it needs to be super dense. I love this. I mean, I haven't used it yet, but this I feel like is going to be awesome. And getting it for eight bucks and even 12 bucks is a really good price. So this was on sale. Most of these serums I got like around 11 bucks off, give or take. Um, this is Bliss, the brightening serum with peptides. I don't think I've had this before. A couple of years ago, they had a lot of Bliss like Christmas packs at Target. And their vitamin C is one of the only vitamin C's I can use. I really liked it. I think this is, this is even glass, I think. What cute packaging. So it's a pumper style bottle. What caught my eye is the vitamin C and the tripeptides. I'm sure you know by now I'm a peptide junkie. I love peptides. And I can now kind of see why that the vitamin C might work for me because it's really low on the list. Um, but let's see. Glycerin, tripeptide 5, licorice, which is also a good brightening agent. Squalane, uh, Camilla, which I love the Camilla Simpsons oil. Um, sodium hyaluronate. Anyway, I just really liked this. It just sounded really good. Um, basically, it's saying the peptides are supposed to help uh, boost your elasticity. Um, vitamin C helps the dark spots, brightens your skin. Licorice root, again, smooth, um, brighten, and calm. So anyway, I love this bottle. Super pretty. Super excited to get it for a discount. Um, sadly, I'm not, I think maybe I paid 19. I don't know. Um, Mad Hippie is kind of like my new exploration brand, but a lot of their stuff I would say runs like $35. And so it was on sale. I think I paid in the twenties, like $25. So again, almost everything was like a dollar off or $10 off. So this is a peptide serum. Again, I am bananas for peptides. This is a corrective peptide serum. So it is a glass dropper bottle. 
Um, so far I am liking the things I've had from Mad Hippie. So let's see. Triglycerides, Tripeptide 2, Hydem Solaronate, Matrixyl Synthase or something. I've heard people talk, but there's different kinds of Matrixyl and I've heard that's a really good ingredient. I don't know much about it. There's also a Matrixyl 3000, which isn't in here. Um, Squalane, another Tripeptide 22, Oat um, Extract, which is great for calming. Um, so anyway, I just was super excited to try it. I love having new serums. I don't have, like serums is, a, is an area where I could have used more. So super excited for that. And then this was kind of a... I was in the store, randomly jumped in my basket, probably shouldn't have. <clears throat> so this used to be my holy grail. I had had three bottles of this on Ipsy prior to them changing. They changed the name and it's not the same. I think I liked the old better. I've only had one of these and I was kind of like so-so about it, but I wanted to give it another try at the discounted price. So this is normally around $36, $38. Uh, Derma E is another brand that I really enjoy. Advanced Peptide and Flora Collagen Serum. Personally, I think I like the other one better, but I wanted to just double check and make sure. This has a lot more fragrance, I feel like, than the other one. Um, so Camilla Sensit, which is green tea, um, Peptide 8, um, Triglycerides, which is really good, Panthenol, which is really good, um... Witch Hazel, Vitamin C, oh, this is Vitamin C, um, Camilla. So anyway, I wanted to try it. Oh, this says it has Matrixyl, the Synthate Matrixyl 2, help support collagen. Um, so I will say they go out of their way to put a lot of information. This probably was too much of an impulse and I shouldn't have got it, but I wanted to try it one more time just to see. Um, anyway, that is my little haul, kind of unexpected from Ulta. Um, I have canceled my Stitch Fix. Now that's not a permanent thing, um, but it's more as, um, cause my past ends, like I'm filming this in April, my past basically is over. And I just wanna signal to them that I'm unhappy and I don't know whether they will care or not. So I literally went on and I canceled my Stitch Fix. So I am no longer subscribed in shipments and it will not be my last. I will probably within a month or more, like whatever, probably get a box. But I just wanted to signal to them that I feel like they're going in the wrong direction. Um, their stuff isn't just as good. Anyway, the reason I brought that up is because Ipsy is coming up, their icon box. And you may see this after that. I have no idea. Um, but I'm do giving Ipsy like one more try. If I love the icon box, then I will probably downgrade to the mini um, because I'm just not happy with them. I would rather, I am happier with these things I bought here than I've been with any Ipsy box in the last couple months besides the icon. I'm just getting no name things, things I've never heard of, things I don't need or want. And I just would rather take my money, which this costs more than the $30. Because I feel like the point with Ipsy is you're paying $30 and you get to try all these things for cheap. But I don't, I'm not loving the choices I get. I really have never heard of anything. I just haven't been super excited about anything. So Ipsy may be on the way out, but I would still probably want to get them once or twice a year because I like the shop, the sales. But besides my per lease stuff, there really hasn't been much in the shop either. So Ipsy is kind of on my cut list. Allure has been killing it. I've almost subscribed to Allure like three months out of the last three months because they are killing it in their box. You're getting name brand stuff seemingly way better than Ipsy's giving me and it's cheaper. Anywho, just my thoughts. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.